Those stairs literally have LED, LCD, like, screens built into the staircases. What's up, guys? We're in Newport City and this incredible casino. Check out the lights. Chase color blue, red, green, I think purple. What do you think? It's nice. What do I think? It's yeah, awesome. It's, awesome. it's grand. It's dazzling. It's uh, not a place I would come to every day, but with casinos, a lot of rich, a lot of money, a lot of transactions happening here. So, of yeah. course, when you look at the environment, the, the casino owners are extremely, most likely rich, so they create these ridiculously grand sceneries that you get to walk around in and lose all your money when you're <laughs> betting on the arcade games and the bingo and everything else that yeah. is designed to take your money in this place. But it's a very nice place to come and visit, so that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something else Yeah. Round two. Okay, let's uh, eat for effort. <laughs> Hey guys, I will alcohol you later. <laughs> hey yo, good morning. I'm heading to Pancake House to get some pancakes and some coffee, maybe some bacon and some eggs, because that's what makes sense to do on a Sunday morning. Woo. Oh, hello, good morning. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. I think we're ready to order. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Woo! That was good. Pancakes are so freaking fluffy. Woo. We just met another couple there that was sitting right next to us. One guy was from Wisconsin and the other was Visayan like Mia. And we were talking for like 45 minutes about life and uh, life here in philippines and the u.s it was interesting always fun to uh, meet other people in a similar situation headed to newport world resort slash newport city in pasai manila philippines let's do it there we go i'll be up and with Those stairs literally have L LED, LCD, like, screens built into the staircase. I've never seen that in my entire life. Leave a comment down below if you've ever seen stairs with, like, TVs, like, L LCD screens built into the stairwell. That's insane. <laughs>
This place is highly unique. I haven't really seen too many like indoor shopping plazas that have this type of style and feel to it. It's definitely interesting for sure. This kind of reminds me of Las Vegas in Nevada in the United States because of all the casinos and just like the high end shopping places and uh, yeah, just the general look, feel, environment and aesthetic though for yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at this bench though. Oh my goodness, what is even happening right here? <laughs> oh, oh my God, that is the most unique bench I have seen in a second. Wow. <laughs> How's the bench, man? Is it comfortable? <laughs> and we got this one. It looks like some type of French baked pastry on the floor made out of wood. Who the heck designed and created and crafted that specimen of science? My goodness. Look at the architecture though, like the, the ridges on the ceiling and the engravements on the wall with the wood and everything. That is very highly unique. I don't see that often if anywhere else. Wow, look at that stonework. My goodness. What is this? <laughs> Just more incredible like stonework and the floor and the sides and the ceiling. Like, look at that, that's crazy. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Amazing. Wow. What is this? Holy f This is crazy. What am I looking at? Wow. It's amazing. What is happening? Wow, this place is crazy. These are the nicest journals I've ever seen, because the stonework. That's a rather large door for a toilet stall. That's all I can tell you. That door is like literally 14 foot tall. So that was one of the nicest bathrooms I've ever personally been in. The toilet stalls had doors that were made out of like this black rock and they were probably 14 foot tall black rock doors to close the toilet stall. And that was the, uh, the Hilton Manila, I believe, hotel over in Newport City. So that is some wild stuff.
How's your day going, huh? How's your day going? <laughs> We're gonna put that there to the test. So I'm currently in the best selfie spot, according to the floor. You guys let me know in the comments. <laughs> So we were walking in the hallway and I like turned around to just check out Mia because I do that from time to time and some other guy was like checking her out at the same exact time and Mia was trying to decide like who to make eye contact with and she got confused and started giggling like abruptly. <laughs> The coffee bean and tea leaf behind us. They usually have really nice like places to come and work while you're drinking your coffee or eating your snacks. This place is no exception. It has a nice little view in the background as you can see. Very pretty. Yeah, it's been exactly one hour and Mia has yet to ask me if she to get a snack or a drink or something. That might be a record. <laughs> the benefits of having a high metabolism. That girl can eat like anything. Looking good. Mia wants to play pool or billiards as they call it here in the Philippines. They have bowling in as well. Wow, that might be the spot. Oh my God, they have a PlayStation room? The PlayStation room, huh? Look at the stone choice of these stairs, though. It's so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Oh wow! Look at those! Look at those lanes! Wow, that's so cool. Wow! Wow! What do you think, man? That's pretty cool. Wow, we hit the jackpot. Looks like they got a little bar over here. This arcade is like a hidden gem. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Awesome. Dart. <laughs> Darts Raider. <laughs> That's dope. So me and I are going to bowl one game. And uh, it's pretty affordable. I think it was 520 pesos for both of us, including shoes, for one game. So basically 200 pesos per person per game. So it's about $4 per person per game. So it's gonna run us about $9 US, one game with shoes included. Looks like the air conditioning might not be working up here, but <laughs> we're gonna have a, a sweaty bowling ball game. So yeah, it's all good. Got my shoes on, laced them up tight. It's time for bed. <laughs> we have faces instead of names. That's so awesome. Ah, it doesn't matter, it's not a photo shoot. <laughs> Whoa, this is one of the coolest bowling alleys I've ever seen. Look at the lighting effects, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
no. There is no oil on those lanes, boys. That means I have to throw it faster with less hook. Let's see if I can adjust. Oh my God, just double gunner. Oh my goodness. The struggle is super real right now. I think this is Mia's first time bowling, so we're gonna judge her super hardcore. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, naturally, right? I got her just like myself, so you learn from the best. Round two. Okay, it's uh, E for effort. <laughs> okay. Why? All right, maybe the first one to hit a pin. You got this. No cigar. <laughs> for a 190 average bowler myself, for about 185, I'm not doing so hot. But uh, I think I've got a solution for this. I think I do. Oh no. So I've never seen this before. Over here we have actually mini lanes. These are for like toddlers or something. They're like one fourth of the size of an actual bowling ball lane. That's pretty cool. She got it. Oh, she almost, she almost had a strike. Oh no! <laughs> so I figured it out. I just had to move my feet to the left and chuck it aggressively to the right, expecting it to have a sharp hook from the right to the left. And that seemed to do the trick. And uh, that put us back in business. Woo! Okay, just so good luck. Woo! Remover to picks up the pin. Super weird and interesting. Woo! One left. Okay, the game has concluded and that was fun. Now it's on on to the next thing. Hey guys, I will alcohol you later. <laughs> Got their cinema. I'm not sure why, if anybody has the answer down in the comments, but when I'm walking around in malls and outside, it smells like spray paint or like permanent marker. Pretty often, almost every day. I smell it at at least one like small hallway or somewhere constantly. It must be some type of paint or something. I don't know where the odor is coming from. If anyone knows, let me know. Dear Garita, he can sign me up. Oh, that's a beautiful little section over here. Uncle Moe's, Mouse. Ah, uh, there's a karaoke performance Monday, Tuesday through Sunday, karaoke night and performers. That's cool. That makes more sense now that I'm looking at the stage right here. And they've got a little bar right here as well set up. Ceiling of this bar with the wood, that's like super cool. Wow, look how beautiful that is. Bistro Italia. Fun place. Gotta say, a lot of new things that I haven't checked out. Well, I mean, more of the same, but expressed in a different way. Very nice restaurants, that's for sure. Oh.
So just to give you an update, we're back at our apartment and the grab that I booked to go from the Newport city back to my apartment was awesome. I felt like I was in a different country for a second. It didn't feel like Philippines. Like the, they're playing like music that I would normally listen to. And also the car smelled like mint toothpaste. The car smelled really good. It was like a 2022 car. The guy spoke perfect English, even though he's Filipino. It was really confusing. I felt like I was literally in a different country on the way back. So I'm curious because the Newport city area looks like it is very well to do. A lot of rich people there probably, well, not necessarily everybody, but because there's casinos, it's more of a wealthy area. Like we drove past the McDonald's that was built with like this immaculate like glass and wood and had Ronald McDonald's statue out front. I'm like, what the heck? So it's like an interesting like Pasai, that little strip, that area near the Naya airport. Looks like it's got some money happening in that particular section. So I just want to share that with you because I shared in my last vlog about how I have had negative experiences with taxis and grabs. And this one was the opposite. It was very, a very good experience.